Hey guys, welcome to the fifth instalment of my new YouTube series which is focusing on my top 10 favourite slap bass riffs. This week we're going to be taking a look at a classic Marcus Miller track called Power. Okay, let's have a listen to it. This bass line is in the key of B minor, and we're going to open up the first bar by playing a three note voicing of a B minor 7 chord. So we're going to be playing three notes all at the 7th fret. We've got the B at the 7th fret of the E string, that gives us the root note. We've got the A at the 7th fret of the D string, that gives us the 7th. And we've got the D at the 7th fret of the uh, G string, that gives us the minor 3rd. And we're going to pluck those using the thumb and fingers one and two on the picking hand. Now that, uh, that chord lasts for all of the first beat of the first bar. On the second beat, we're gonna slap the B at the ninth fret of the, uh, of the D string. Now that B is gonna occupy the first half of the second beat. And then on the second half, we're gonna be playing a fast descending run using the double thumbing technique. Now, if you've never used the double thumbing technique before, it's essentially like using your thumb as if it were a plectrum, so playing down strokes and up strokes. And I've done a complete course on double thumbing over in the advanced slap bass video course on the Baseline Publishing website, so it might be worth checking that out. So on the second half of beat two, we're gonna be playing a descending group of four notes. First of all, we're gonna play the B and the A on the D string. So down stroke and an up stroke with the thumb. We then move down onto the A string and play F sharp and E. So we've got four notes, down, up, down, up. Now, the tricky thing with these notes is they're played really fast. These are gonna be 30 second notes. So they're gonna go by very quickly. Okay, so beats one and two are gonna sound like this. And again. Okay, so quite tricky to do if you've not used the double thumbing technique before. This is uh, certainly quite an advanced line to be playing. So moving into the third beat of the bar, we're gonna carry on with that double thumbing idea, but we're switching back to 16th notes now. So these notes move a little bit slower. We're gonna be playing the D at the 10th fret of the E string, followed by the B at the seventh fret. Again, down stroke, up stroke. So we're descending through a B minor pentatonic scale there. Now once we've played those two notes, we've got a 16th note rest, and then we're gonna be popping the octave B again. So. And again. Okay, that gives us most of the first bar. Now on beat four, we have a 16th note rest, and then we're gonna play two ghost notes. The first of these is gonna be a popped ghost note on the D string, and the second is going to be a slapped ghost note on the A string. We're then going to slap the E at the seventh fret of the A string. Now don't forget there's a sixteenth note rest before you do any of that. And that completes the first bar. So let's hear bar one in its entirety. Okay, now that E that we've just played is going to hammer on to an F sharp, and that F sharp is gonna be the first note of the second bar. So once we've played the F sharp, we're gonna pop a ghost note on the D string, and then we're gonna slap the A at the seventh fret. So I'm gonna play this with the, uh, with the E from the previous bar. Okay, that gives us the first beat of the second bar. So moving on to the second, uh, second beat of the second bar. Got three notes, slapping the B, popping a D, and then slapping an A. So we've got this. And again. On the third beat of the bar, we play two descending hammer-ons. These are just played with conventional slap technique. A to B, and then E to F sharp. 
And then on the fourth beat of the bar, we're just going to slap the A three times. So bar two sounds like this. And again. Let's hear bars one and two together now. Okay, so that gives us the first half of this bass line. Now, if you look at the PDF transcription, which you can download from the website, you'll see that the second half is almost identical. So the third bar is the same as the first, and the first half of the fourth bar is the same as the first half of the second bar. So we just need to uh, play the, uh, the fill that comes at the end of the fourth bar. So this is gonna be... Um, very simple, open E string, hammer on to the G sharp, pop the octave. That's the third beat. And then on the fourth beat, we do the same thing, but we're gonna move up to the A. So the fourth bar is, sound, is going to sound like this. I'll play the hammer on from the, uh, from the E just before. And that brings us to the end of the line. Okay guys, thanks for checking out the fifth installment in my new YouTube series. We covered a fairly advanced line in this week's installment and it's one that uses the double thumbing technique quite extensively. So as I said before, if you're new to the double thumbing technique and you want to know more, there is a complete course on this technique over in the advanced slap bass course here on the Baseline Publishing website. Don't forget to also go to the Baseline Publishing website, click on free stuff on the main menu and download the PDF and the backing track for this week's exercise. I'll see you next week for another slap groove. Mm -hmm.